Good day, Jess Making students. So our topic for today is about drafting the back bodies sloper. So I'm gonna show you the different steps on how to draft the back bodies sloper. Okay. So before we proceed with the different steps, kailangan mag-create muna tayo ng perpendicular line. So yun yung lagi nating unang step. Okay, so draw a perpendicular line. So again, there is no specific measurement from the corner up to the perpendicular line. Mahala na kayong magtansya. And then mark this point or mark the corner as point A. And then from point A, get point B, transfer the measurement of your figure or yung back figure ninyo. Okay? So, mag-start tayo kay point A going downward. So, my measurement is 15 inches. So, from point A, measure 15 inches downwards to get point B. And then from point A again, to get point C, measure 3 4 inches downward. So from point A, measure 3 4 inches downward. And then mark this point as point C. Next one, to get point D, transfer the measurement of your shoulder blade height. So, my measurement is 8 inches. So, from point A, measure 8 inches downwards. And mark this point as point B. And for point E, measure 2 and 3 fourth inches going to the right from point A. So, from point A, measure 2 and 3 fourth inches going to the right and then mark this point as point E. Next one is to get point F from A, measure the one half of your chest back. So, my chest back measurement is 14 inches. So, divided by 2, magiging 7 inches na siya. So, from point A, measure 7 inches going to right to get point F. Then, from To get point G, measure the one half of your shoulder. So, ang measurement ng aking shoulder ay 15 inches. So, 15 inches divided by 2, magiging 7 and a half na lang siya. So, from point A, measure 7 and a half going to right. And then, mark this point as point. G. So, to get point H, from point A, measure the one-fourth of your bust measurement. So, my bust measurement is 33 and a half. So, 33 and a half divided by 4, magiging 8 and one-fourth siya. So, from point A, measure tayo ng 8 and one-fourth going to the right get point H. So, after we get point H, square down muna natin lahat ng points na meron tayo to get the other point. So, square down natin si point E. Square down natin si point F. Point G, point H, then extend. 
extend point C. Point D. And point B. And we will get now the point I. So to get point I from point G, measure 1 and 1 fourth inches downward. So from point G, measure 1 and 1 fourth inches downwards and mark this point as point I. And to get point J from I, measure 4 inches towards line F. Okay, so from I, measure 4 inches towards line F to get point J. And to get point K, from point J, measure 2 and a half inches downward. 2 and a half inches downwards to get point K. And draw a line towards line H. So, i-coconnect nyo ngayon itong K kay line H. And mark nyo ulit as point K. Okay? And then after that, to get point L from point B, measure the 1 fourth of your waist measurement and then add 1 inch. So, unahin muna natin yung 1 fourth ng inyong waist measurement. For example, ang inyong waist ay 28 inches. So, 28 divided by 4, magiging 7 inches na lang siya. And then, add 1 inch to get point L. So, connect point L to point K using your ruler. And then, after that, to get point N from point B, get the one half measurement of your shoulder blade distance. For example, your shoulder blade distance measurement is six and a half. So six and a half divided by two is equals to three and one fourth. So from point B, you will measure three and one fourth going to the right. Okay, so from line or from point N is squared down locating O at line B. Okay. And then mark this point as point O. And to get point P from point O, measure half inches going to left. So half inches going to left to get point To get point Q from point O, measure one half inch going to right. And mark this as point Q. And then after that, connect the line or connect the point Q and point P to point N using your ruler. From point L, measure half inch upward to get point M. And connect point M to point B using your hip curve for the end line. And also, to shape the armhole and the neckline, 
use your hip curve. So, connect C and E using hip curve to get the shape of your neckline. And point I, J, and K for the arm pull. the shoulder line and that's the final output of your back body stopper then hindi pa yan natatapos dyan ang kailangan yung gawin is to use a permanent marker to trace those permanent lines para alam nyo kung ano yung mga lines na gugupitin ninyo